Ken, you can expect another month of coming up empty at pumps like this one. That's what one local gas station owner tells us. He says it'll take that long to get Greensboro's gas reserves back to normal and get rid of these bags. Julia Bag joins us tonight. Julia, what can you tell us about this? Sandra, we're just beginning to learn the details of this shooting that sheriff's deputies say happened here in Rockingham County. Southern Rockingham County, actually in the Midway community. We're actually outside the state trooper's house right now where the sheriff says shots were fired earlier this evening. Now, to give you an idea of just how much money this can save you, one worker tells us he travels 45 miles each day round trip just to make it to work. He gets nearly 15 miles to the gallon, so that means he's burning three gallons of gas each day to get to work. Now, multiply that by nearly $4 a gallon. That means he's saving $12 for every Friday that he stays home. Now, if you multiply that by 50 work weeks in a year, it's a savings of $600 annually just by taking Fridays off. Populares entre los jóvenes, pero ahora existe en el mercado un producto similar, pero con alcohol. Juan Ibasan nos explica el peligro que podría presentar. Ken, if a tornado warning catches you at home, emergency management planners say head for the closet. You want to put as many walls between you and the storm outside. Ken for some people, the fair is all about the rides, but for me, it's all about the food. And while this frozen chocolate banana may be delicious, it's not a bargain at $3 a pop. Emergency crews boated around this mobile home park looking for neighbors in trouble. Most just needed to rescue their pets. I got a phone call that they were evacuating the area. So I came home to get my critters. Annette Jones says she's never seen anything like this. I've been here 10 years and the ever came was to the bottom of the hill. What neighbors say used to be a dry creek bed on the property became part river and part lake. It's been very scary because the water looks like it's going very fast and there's a whole lot of water. Nearby stream overflows reached the doorsteps of other mobile homes. Rushing waters ripped off trailer pieces and knocked over a shed. It's not the first time Ronnie Lewis has battled a flood here. Hurricane Fran took us out. Yeah, yeah. We did that about 12 years ago, 12, 14 years ago, and uh, we're lucky. Lewis says as long as the water doesn't get any higher, his family will be okay. We got a few friends out here helping us out. You know, thank God for them. You know, and tomorrow's another day, mm -hmm. and we're going to have it. He doesn't remember what happened. He doesn't remember the crash and insists drugs and alcohol had nothing to do with it. Ask Michael Parks what happened. I was fussing around the neighborhood in the van. And I just don't know how everything went so wrong. So wrong that he hit a 12-year-old boy. I remember waking up in the creek with a big knot on my head and then getting taken to the handcuffs by ambulance. And that's all I can tell you. I would never want to harm a kid. I mean, I feel terrible. But Parks about? calls the DWI charge unfair. I was stone cold sober when this happened. I can guarantee you that. So you hadn't been drinking, you hadn't no. taken drugs? I hadn't drank in three days and hadn't taken drugs, uh, marijuana in over four. Parks blames exhaustion for the crash. He says he hadn't slept in days. Parks has a previous DWI conviction and judges dismissed two other DWI charges against him. Amazing to hear him talk about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I was surprised because uh, I couldn't believe anybody would do anything like that. The owner of this parking lot is quite clear about his message. I don't know how many ways you can interpret it. If you're an Obama supporter, you got an Obama sticker on your car, you're not welcome to park it. McCain supporter Tim Henderson insists he won't tow anyone off his lot for political reasons. He's just throwing a little humor into the presidential race. I don't expect to go after anybody with a baseball bat. I would grin at them and laugh and ask them if they could read English. But some people who park here don't find it so funny. This is ridiculous. Dave Dickey and other state workers have had an agreement to park here for years. And some of them also have Obama stickers on their private vehicles. It's telling me because I have a sticker or I support and I believe in something, I'm not allowed to park here. And I, this is where I park for work. I have to park here. Just posting signs, just practicing your freedom of speech. You never see a sign up there by, by me saying, McCain folks don't come to this door. But another Obama supporter, who's also town mayor, would like to see that speech come down. You're a mayor and you've got your hat but on, let me, but let me, and, let me, and I'm going to wear my hat. If he said Obama folks could park here, but McCain couldn't, I wouldn't like that either. Henderson says he's sticking with his signs until Election Day. In the same way I take the fence at Mr. Obama running for president, 
then they're either going to have to stay offended or get over it. In Gibsonville, Julia Bag, WFMY News 2, Get Answers. Well, Sandra, whether you're headed to Grandma's house or anywhere else, a truck stop like this one is probably along the way. They're open 24 hours a day, even on Christmas. And what you find inside may surprise you. Hats, T-shirts, train sets, anything. You name it, I picked it up. It's not the mall and definitely not your typical superstore, but it does have all the last-minute gift ideas Chuck Martin needs. Last Christmas, all my presents come from truck stops. Everything I bought come from truck stops. From dolls to giant candy bars to decorative crafts. Something quick and get on down the road. It's better than showing up without a gift. A five-year-old on his way to Grandpa's house found something he'd like to see under the Christmas tree. Which one? This one and this one. So can you tell the gifts came from a truck stop? Nobody will ever know if you don't tell them. This shirt here. If I gave you this shirt without the tag, Walmart, Kmart, you never know. They don't say truck stop on it. Even with Christmas closing in, Martin still hasn't made up his mind about what to get his family. But he knows his deadline is flexible. When you walk in here, you feel up, you grab a t-shirt, you grab a hat. It, you don't think about it. You just pick it up and go. It's easy. Now, one of the reasons shoppers like looking for Christmas presents in these truck stops is you never know what you'll find. One of the strangest things we found is this shell. It's a mollusk shell that actually has a pearl inside, and then it goes with a necklace for jewelry, something you wouldn't expect to see at a truck stop. And, Sandra, I looked for some fruitcake. I am sorry to say they do not sell fruitcake, Sandra.